Nano Banana just got a major upgrade and is now even more powerful than ever. The new Gemini 3 Nano Banana Pro model has taken AI image generation to the next level, providing studio quality controls, multilingual text rendering, the ability to blend multiple images, and even deep reasoning for context-rich visuals. With advanced creative controls, Nano Banana Pro can deliver precise, highly detailed visuals in seconds, and it's now available on Adobe Firefly. In this Firefly-sponsored video, I'll be using text prompts to test out the various capabilities of Nano Banana Pro, so we can see what this enhanced model is capable of. To access Adobe Firefly and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. So to get started from the Firefly homepage, let's go over how to access Nano Banana Pro. From the menu on the left hand side here, let's click the new button at the top. Nano Banana Pro is an image generation model, so from the menu here, let's go down to the generate new section and click on image. And this will take us to the generate image tool on Adobe Firefly. From the general settings menu on the left hand side, we can use the top drop down menu to select the image generation model that we want to use. Firefly offers several models that you can select from, but for this demonstration, let's go down and select the Gemini 3 Nano Banana Pro model. And using the next drop down menu here, we can select the aspect ratio we want our image to be. With Nano Banana Pro, we can generate images for any size that we need. I think I'll stick with 16 by 9 widescreen for this example. At the bottom here, we can also upload several reference images, but we'll be going over this later. So now we're ready to generate images with Nano Banana Pro. The first thing I want to test out is this advanced creative controls. This includes things like adjusting camera angles, adding lighting effects, and performing other image edits. So now that I have Nano Banana Pro selected as my model, let's go down to the text prompt field here. For my first text prompt, let's see if we can generate a realistic image of a cozy 1920s library interior at night, illuminated by a crackling fireplace. Let's include a wooden reading table with a lit candle and stack of antique books, and a window on the left hand side showing a starry night sky. And once you describe what you want to create, simply click the generate button at the bottom right. AI will then analyze your text prompt and start generating your image. And here's my 1920s library at night. As you can see, it's highly detailed and has my crackling fireplace, my wooden reading table with a lit candle and stack of antique books, and my window on the left hand side showing my night sky. I think this looks great, so let's click the image to head over to the edit menu. Here's where we can use text prompts to edit our image with advanced controls to create exactly what we want. Each time you generate a new image, it'll be added as a reference image here so you can continue editing. So let's say I really like this image and want to use it for my project, but I want to transform the stack of antique books on the table to a stack of antique scrolls. I can simply enter a text prompt explaining the changes I want to make, then click the generate button at the bottom right. AI will then analyze my prompt, and after a few moments, my books should be changed. Not bad. I think the ancient scrolls look great, and even the shadows and light reflections match the scenery. This image is looking good but I think it'll look better from a different perspective. Luckily, with Nano Banana Pro, we also have full control over the camera angle. So for my text prompt here, let's see if we can adjust the camera angle to give us a worm's eye view. I can then click generate, and let's see what the AI comes up with. And here's an image of my library from a worm's eye view. Wow, I think that looks really cool. Nano Banana Pro was able to change my image perspective while keeping all the objects unchanged. But for the next example, let's click one of my previous generated images to use it for my reference image. There we go. Now that I've selected the image I want to edit, let's see how Gemini 3 does with color grading. For my text prompt, let's ask AI to turn my image into a desaturated, moody grayscale with subtle red undertones for a mysterious atmosphere. I can then click generate, and let's see how Gemini 3 handles color grading. And my image now has a mysterious grayscale atmosphere with subtle red undertones. I think the desaturated colors look great, but let's go back to my original image and see what else we can do with Nano Banana. With Gemini 3, we should have full control over our scene lighting. For my text prompt, let's see if we can change my image from a nighttime scene to a warm evening ambiance with golden sun rays streaming in through the window. I can then click generate, and let's see how Nano Banana Pro handles lighting. And voila! My image lighting has been changed from a nighttime scene to a bright sunny day scene. With physics based lighting changes, we can generate some realistic transformations. For my next example, I think I'll actually keep this scene as my reference image, 
but let's see if we can use Nano Banana Pro to change the focus. For my text prompt, I'm gonna ask AI to isolate the candle in crisp detail while blurring the background. Also, let's click the drop down menu up top here and see if we can generate this image in a square aspect ratio. I can then click generate and let's see how AI handles my prompt. And here's my new square image with the focus on the candle and the background and surrounding items softly blurred. Wow, I think that looks incredible. So as you can see, with Nano Banana Pro's advanced creative controls, you can perform localized editing, adjust camera angles, transform your scene lighting, and even change the focus. So we've reviewed Nano Banana Pro's advanced controls. Now let's open up a new project and see what else we can do. With Gemini 3, we can also generate visuals with accurate multilingual text rendering. So to test this out, let's see if we can generate a signboard at a coffee shop that reads Fresh Brews Daily. I can then click generate and see if AI is able to add text to my image. And as you can see, Nano Banana Pro rendered my text perfectly. The image looks super realistic and it even gave my coffee shop a name of the daily grind. And this is definitely the best model for creating images with correctly rendered and legible text directly in the image. We have advanced text options with a variety in fonts, textures, and even calligraphy. For instance, Let's say I wanted to create a street art mural on the side of a brick wall with the phrase dream big in a graffiti style. Nano Banana Pro should be able to understand my prompt and accurately generate the text in my image. As you can see, I have a highly detailed image of my text dream big on a brick wall here in a graffiti style showing textures in the wall like cracks and shadows. I think that worked perfectly, but let's see how it does when you ask it to generate longer, more detailed text. For this prompt, I'm gonna ask Nano Banana Pro to create a recipe card for chocolate chip cookies with a detailed paragraph of the instructions. This is a lot of text to add to the image, so let's see how Gemini 3 handles it. And here's my recipe card for chocolate chip cookies. The image looks super realistic and it includes all the text that I asked it to in my prompt down to the last detail. And with Gemini's enhanced multilingual reasoning, I could even ask Nano Banana Pro to translate my text to French and it should handle the job seamlessly. I don't speak French, but this looks pretty good to me. So as you can see, with Gemini 3's advanced language understanding, you can easily see what your images look like in multiple languages. So we've seen how we can use Nano Banana Pro for advanced editing and text rendering, but with Gemini 3's enhanced reasoning, we can also generate accurate, context-rich visuals using real-world knowledge and real-time information. So to test this out, let's click here to upload a reference image for AI to analyze. For this example, I'm gonna upload this image of a bonsai tree. And for my text prompt, let's ask it to create an infographic about this tree focusing on interesting information. That's all the details I'm gonna provide because I wanna see how AI analyzes the image and pulls from real world knowledge. And here's my AI generated infographic. As you can see, Nano Banana Pro was able to recognize that my image was a bonsai tree and provided me with an infographic that shows me the history, style, philosophy, care and maintenance strategies, and techniques for maintaining the bonsai tree. So not only can Gemini 3 recognize objects and images, but also provide detailed information about them as well. So we've seen how AI can analyze your reference image, but with Nano Banana Pro, we can actually upload several reference images and seamlessly blend them together. So to test this out, let's click here to upload some reference images. I'm gonna start with this image of a farm here to use as my background and use the option here to upload more farm related images and graphics. So here are all the different images that I wanna to blend together. I have five images here, so let's see if Nano Banana Pro can handle it. And for my text prompt, let's ask it to combine these images into one appropriately arranged cinematic image. I can then click generate and let's see what it comes up with. And voila, all the images have been blended together to create one cinematic image. And if I like, I can easily use text prompts to edit or make changes to the image, like maybe having the cowboy sit on the tractor. And after analyzing your request, your changes should be made. And as you can see, the cowboy is now sitting on the tractor with the same hat and clothing he had on before. Feel free to make more adjustments, add new objects, or make any other changes you need until you have the perfect image. And once you're finished using Nano Banana Pro on Firefly to generate and edit your images, you can download them by clicking the download button at the top toolbar here. I can now use my image for my website, social media posts, or anywhere else I like. So that's a quick overview of how to use Gemini 3's Nano Banana Pro on Adobe Firefly. To access Adobe Firefly and use Nano Banana Pro, make sure you click the link in the video description. 
And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.